Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this Thursday, August 1st, folks, 2024. It is 3.49 p.m. Eastern Time as I speak and record. Just praise God for August. You guys, just praise God. We can always, man, can always, always, always find something to praise God for. I'm, I know I sound like a broken record. I'm extremely tired. These 10-hour days are really catching up to me. I'm blessed to be off again tomorrow. I'm tired, but I'm going to get this video in, and I'm praising God for it. If he chooses to let me get a little nap after this, so be it. But no matter what, I'm going to continue to praise him, and I continue to thank you guys and praise God for every single one of you. That was like the first 45 seconds of this video, and if that's all you watched, I'm praising God for you. Even if you click off now, and folks, you've heard me say the – when I'm when I download these videos onto the channel or whatever you call it, I'm not that tech savvy. It shows me all the statistics, all the analytics of this channel and the videos. Anybody's found like yesterday's was a long one. It's a little over 11 minutes. Some are six, seven minutes. So we average about eight to nine minute videos. The average view duration is about three minutes. But you know what? If in that three minutes somebody is hearing me say praise God for you and hearing the verse and the scriptures. Absolute success. So praise God, praise God, praise God. Again, thank you for joining me today for August 1st. We're kicking off with Soul Sanctuary. Soul Sanctuary. Sanctuary, that's a good word, folks. And with that being said, the important, the most important part of every single one of these videos, folks, it is the scripture, the word of God. I've got highlighted today 2 Samuel chapter 22, verses 1 through 4. And our lead off verse is two and three. In the King James, the word of God says this. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my rock. In him I will trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior. Thou savest me from violence. That's an awful lot of attributes for God, and there's more than that. Now, this is 2 Samuel 22. It's the same thing in Psalm 18, too. If you go and read Psalms, it says this is what David sang out, sang out to the Lord. And uh, right there, the Lord is my rock, fortress, deliverer, strength, trust, buckler, horn, salvation, tower. Guys, that is just, this is just one verse packed full. Positive attributes of God. Uh, Hannah Whittall Smith writes today's devotional for August, and this is what she's got to say. We see that our dwelling place is also our fortress and our high tower and our rock and our refuge. I'm going to add in there if. If you are seeking God and calling upon him and trusting him in every aspect of your life. If you have surrendered to God. If you have made him like look at his background here, guys. Uh, wrong side. Where are we at? Let's do this. The, the the high tower, the fortress, you know, the castles and all those things that were built up on high mountain sides for that advantage viewpoint to look down on the enemy, to look look down on anything that may be trying to sneak in and come in. Guys, it says in Ephesians, we are now seated together in Christ in the heavenly places. Far above all powers, principalities, and rulers of wickedness in this dark, already seated in Christ. Everything's under our feet, guys. But we got to got to keep reminding ourselves that we all know what a fortress is. It is a place of safety where everything that is weak and helpless can be hidden from the enemy and kept in security. Guys, that sense right there, is, man. When you say weak and helpless, what the, what's the verse say? For when I am weak, then I'm strong because that's when I rely on your strength, God. That's when I rely on your help. I'm not trying to do this on my own. Again, humility, folks. Humility, understand humility is not a sign of weakness. That is absolute surrender to God and trust in God and everything. Um, Okay. And when we are told that God, who is our dwelling place, is also our fortress. <laughs> man, God, whew, come on. It can only mean one thing, and that is if we will but live in our dwelling place, if we only live there, 
we shall be perfectly safe and secure from every assault of every possible enemy that can attack. I don't know if it was yesterday's video or background. I know yesterday said, with God, all things are possible, but he he has given us authority. Maybe that's this month's background, folks. That may be the background for this month for all the videos that we have been given authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and all and given us authority over all power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm us. Why? Because we are now in Christ. Come on. Um, for in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And that's Psalm 27, verse 5. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. That's Psalm 91. One. Psalm 91. Guys, that's part of my morning prayer. I love that. I got to remind myself. I say, God, thank you that I now abide. How's the word? I don't want to mess this up. That, that I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And I do abide under the shadow of him. So, Dwell in him, dwell in the Almighty, be in his shadow. He shall hide us in the secret of his presence from the pride of man. He shall keep us secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Trials may come in abundance, but they cannot penetrate into the sanctuary of the soul. And we may, and we may dwell in perfect peace, even in the midst of life's fiercest storms. Thank you, Hannah. And I'm going to add at the end. But only if you truly believe. You got to believe there is no safer place, no more secret place, no more secluded place where you can have absolute peace, comfort, confidence, and authority other than dwelling in the shadow of the Most High, God Almighty Himself, folks. That's how much He loves us. And just again, please get alone and have Him remind you that. Keep, keep getting in the word of God. Keep reading the scriptures above all else. Keep doing that. Let God speak to you through his word. But this trust, nothing can touch you. Nothing can touch you. And the reason we think things do is because we think that this physical body defines who we are. It doesn't. This body is just the temporary dwelling that we are in. Guys, these bodies don't go to heaven. They don't. So once you understand the true identity is the spirit being inside of you, all this stuff will start to make sense a little bit more and it'll it'll elevate your, your level of faith and your boldness. Praise God for that. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on this first day of August. And until tomorrow, August the 2nd, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll see what the Lord says in. I love you guys.